Hey guys, it's Bobby from NB Gamers, and with another Arcade video, but something different. It's called Arcade Unchained. So, I've heard a little bit about this game and the new thing, so apparently we're all patrons, and so hopefully that we can do housing and everything like this. So, I'm interested in to see what comes from it, and if you like this series, I will certainly continue it. Because everyone knows how much I love Arcage. Um, okay, so I'm going to be going with the class of Humiari. Oh, it's going to load. Slowly. Okay, so let's just go to next. Are the classes. I'm going to disable that. So. From what I can remember, last time I played was a Battle Rage. And I did like the sort of gameplay. So I'm going to continue with that one. So now let's get on with making our character. Um, I wonder if they got a different, any more different hairstyles. I haven't seen that one before. Um. Change your hair color. It feels so good being back in this game. I like that one. Alright, let's go with that one. And we're going to go with black eyes. Mmm. Lips. Um, this looks alright like that. Skin. Keep her young. Uh, eyebrows. Of that one, Iris. Let's go. Let's go. More of red. I think that's the best I can get with style. Um, can't really see like the eye makeup very much. Paint. Um, should we have a scar? <clears throat> sorry, my guys, my voice is very cracky. I'm very sorry. Uh, no, that's too much. Too much. Yeah, right on the nose. Um, can we shrink it? Yeah, that'll do. Preview. Hopefully we can get something like similar to this. Uh, not really like that one. Address. Let's just go with this one. Complete. Um. Mean. So say ya. That one's in use. Lee. Oh, that was allowed. So here's our character. So let's get on with starting the game. As you can see, our labor. And let's go. I would like to eventually build a house on this. Because that was the one thing I could not do on the original arcade. So hopefully, we can build one, or maybe even build a castle. 
and if you guys are playing this game and you're interested in like making a like me making a guild or and we could do castle sieges together i'm interested in that just let me know in the comments if you are playing this game and what level you are and i don't miss the loading screens they take very long but i do enjoy the artwork okay Hopefully everything comes and loads and is okay. Um, come on game. remember being that young. What the? Who are you? What do you... Don't be alarmed. My name is Lucius, a bard. Perhaps you've heard of me? A rule of bards name themselves after the adventurer. Doesn't explain why you're in my bedroom. I have an important task, and I need individuals with potential. The middle of the night. What kind of friend? Let me explain the only way I know how. With a humble verse. Just inside eternity, the mother dared to wake. Her garden bloomed around her, but the colors had lost their beauty. For her dreams had shown her another world, and out the garden's door, her power swirled. But it called for something more. With magic and light, the mother nourished the world, and it flourished with life, and eons passed with her loving care. But while the mother was sleeping, twelve fools found her door. They tread inside like conquerors, ignorant to the law. They unleashed terrible things from deep within, and prayed the twisting path to begin again was to seal back that gate. <sighs> While she was sleeping, they doomed her perfect world with hate and lies. And worse, they sealed the door. Without the magic from beyond, life will writhe, storms will rage, and the snakes will rise. But they weren't listening. They couldn't hear truth. They had forgotten. While the mother was sleeping, her children they tried to save. But with the best of intentions, the hereafter road is made. It's time to return to the Northern Continent. I made a promise long ago. Now, I ask you to help me fulfill it. Rory is barren. No one can live there. The magic is returning, and with it, life. But it needs your help. Are you saying I'm some kind of hero? Middle of the night, you spout this nonsense. Calm down, you're no hero. But you do have potential. I can prove it to you. Go talk to Captain Talcard down at the docks. I promise the rewards will be great. the WASD keys to find Hamish at the docks. Let's go and find Hamish. Press F to accept the quest. What are you here for? A boat ride? Look it, sailing's no fun without some rum. <laughs> and a rhyme. Rhyming and rumming and sailing. Oh, look, care for a drink? Good old grandpa. Are you here to see the captain? He should be at one of the docks. Just look for the busiest ship. Wait up, you. 
I'm no stranger to the sea. I was quite a dog sea. Sea dog. Back in my day. It's time for your nap, Grandpa. Find the captain okay. at the docks. Click and drag to adjust your point of view. So here's the captain. Halt! Where do you think you're going? You must be lost. You're not trying to join a crew wearing that, are you? <laughs> Go get back to your nursemaid. Enough! That's my personal guest. Get back to work before I throw you over the barrel. I got it. All right, now relax. I've been waiting for you. You have a wealthy patron who thinks highly of your skills. Let's get you familiar with your new home. Approach the captain and press F to learn how to okay. board. Okay. Board up! The advance party sent a raven, requesting immediate support. We weren't scheduled to leave yet. But we can't wait now. One thing. You will need some real armor. Try these on for size. Use the ladder to board Ooh. the ship. Nice. So let's go and get on the ship. Press F to grab the ladder, then W to climb up. Captain on deck! Wait here, sailor. Let's get her going. Cast off! Approach the captain and press F to learn about You're the hard one to read. Are you seasick or curious? Only one of those I can help with. Centuries ago, we were chased from our home. Now we have reports that the land is beginning to heal. It's time to go back. Of course, I suppose it's a bit more complicated. Harani never fight a battle they cannot win. The destruction of Aurora nearly annihilated the other races. But we were smarter. We knew when to fight and when to pull back. When to survive. We rebuilt on the southern continents. When war destroyed our homes again, we did not bother with revenge. Our enemies were powerful, and survivors do not fight losing battles. Reborn as Harani, we fought to build an even grander kingdom. For surviving and flourishing is the ultimate revenge. Enemies must watch you rise above them. Though our empire has since fractured, we are true survivors, and we carry on. Back on Aurora, the most glorious survivors were known as Shadowhawks. Though a crime guild has taken their name, they remain a worthy example. Do whatever it takes to survive, to profit, to flourish. Especially as we set our sights back on Aurora. I pin our hopes on survivors like you. All hands, pirates off the port bow! Approach the Sailor, captain. man that cannon and rain steel on those... Pirates! This isn't a tea party! Grab the cannon! Hey, use the let's cannon go and use it and pressing F. Use the cannon skills to attack the pirates. Let's keep firing. Duh. 
done. Need to quarters, man the cannons! Ready? Aim! to trust the glider. And crash landing. Seems the goddess Nui wasn't ready for you yet. Let's see if you're as good as she seems to think. Captain! Ready for patrol, sir. Very good. Move out! Let's see what we're up against. I Double tap the W so key much. to run to the captain and learn how to control a glider. Okay. Glided in time. Our enemies have already constructed an impressive fortress. This won't be easy. Was this beer gray before, though? <laughs> I'm going to give you a glider and a mission. I want you to help me scout out the fortress's defenses. We also need to monitor the enemy's movements. Hold down W to glide faster. Sorry about that guys, my game just crashed. Um, so, somehow we completed the gliding quest. So let's go and report to the captain. The situation is worse than we thought. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't starting to get worried. Grab your weapons! Support the siege unit! Very well, time for battle. Approach the captain and press F to learn how to operate siege equipment. Attack the walls! The lodestone is just through there. All we have to do is break it down. Mount that tank. I want to give them everything we've got. Approach the siege tank and press F to take control of it. Okay. Press R to fire at the enemy fortress three times. an enemy to target it. Defeat three enemies. Defeat three enemies. Click an enemy to target it, then press one to attack. Awesome. So I need to get one more. Stay for you. And it goes. Well, 
what's happening in my head then? Oh, I'll kick the face. Yeah, it's denial. <sighs> it seems I owe you one. Perhaps your patron was right about you. <laughs> now it's grey again. These castles all have a lodestone that magically sustains their lands. So take the castle, we destroy it. Ready? Let's go! Approach the gates and press F to open them and reveal the lodestone. Okay, here we go. Here's the lodestone. Oh, beauty, I failed you. Captain, stay with me. <clears throat> I'm fine. Listen, listen carefully. I have plenty of time left. Far more time than I've got. Arrow or no arrow. Train hard, then come back someday. Roria can be reclaimed, but you have to be ready. Today I wasn't. If I was ready. The time will come, and you will know. Oh, God! <laughs> Blessed Nui, is today the day I see your face? Being so familiar. Strained feeling your patron was right. You do have potential. My job is to make sure you see it through. Think of it as a vision of the past, and an illusion of the future. That's just a fraction of what the magic on Aurora is capable of. And that magic will find you whether you want it or not. All magic, evil as well as good. Be wary. of a tutorial and now we can begin the long questing system
which we all know and love. Still don't miss these loading screens. Even the darkest ages are spotted with a few bright mines, like the gold glittering at the bottom of a river. Over the ages, hundreds of friends and allies have risen to shine like stars in the night. Now, I ask you to join their ranks. Okay, um, let's minus this and maybe shorten this out. Can we shorten this? Okay, let's go and talk to Lucius. Quests with green mark. Is in a hurry decision to have your fortune breed before beginning a long journey, and if my hunch is correct, today you start the journey of a lifetime. Why don't you speak to Elfman? Just down the road, he will help you prepare for the ceremony. Oh, we got a reward. This one. When you accept a quest, it's all right. Let's go. Welcome, Sally. Are you ready to know your destiny? Using dragon food to read fortunes in is a time-honored tradition of the Hunari. The legends say General Narden always consulted the dragon fruit before going to war. Hmm. When you're ready, select a dragon fruit. There's a fresh crop closer to the camp. You can pick from the fallen fruits or take off one off the dragon tree. Choose one and speak at speaks to you and take it to the camp administrator Hassan. He is skilled at reading fortunes. Good luck. Okay. So first I wanna equip this weapon. Ooh. So what should we get? Okay, so now we gotta go and pick a dragon fruit. Let's pick one over here. Now we have to go and speak to this guy over here.
Oh, oh my, an interest fortune indeed. The seeds of this dragon speak of many str struggles. My friend, you have the potential for, for greatness, but that greatness must be forged in the fires of hardship. But do not fright, be afraid, for that is the Harunari way, after all. Was it not our defeat at the hands of the Crescent Throne that led us to discover Hanaria? I remember the doubts you will flourish in adversity, just as our ancestors did before you. You need only remember the strength that lies within you. Okay, and now we need to go and speak to this guy. If you're heading towards Quant Co Garnet Cory, can you help me out? The place is filled with unknown vines, and I think they are causing the mining machines to break. The ore detectors go haywire whenever they find one. Some machines even turn vicious. One chased me all the way up here. But the overseers doesn't know that, and now I'm worried someone else might be hurt. Please, if you can bring him a sample of ore, he can try to recuperate the machines. Okay. So let's go. Corpses that sparkle can be looted for items and coins. F picks up all items while G lets you pick and choose. Level 2. Awesome. So now we have to go back up here. And here we are. Oh, did I just turn on a light or something? So these rocks are are the cause of the machine's troubles. It's worth a shot. It be a good moment for those want ore detectors, and I need them to be detecting. Anyway, that's for me to deal with. If you're looking for some more odd jobs, I'm here. They are could use some hand over in hatchery. Okay. I need to pick up an order on Hutchery. The clan wants to it urgently. Clan ambushes are still in the area though. Are you heading toward him? Maybe you could help clear the road. If you recover any stolen goods they've taken lately, you should hang hang on to them. I'm sure someone wants them back. I appreciate your help making the road safe again. Once you get there, you could go and see Timru. She's been looking for some assistance. Okay. Take this quest too. Silly, have you seen my puppy Toto? I've hear, heard him barking nearby, but I can't seem to find him. Ain't you on the way to Hotry? Find my Toto on the boy, please. You won't you get in trouble if you don't finish your chores? I'll find your dog. You finish up here. That's a weird, unusual, very unusual name. You will. You're the best. I promise I'll finish my chores right away. So we find a dog. We get leather, cloth, or plate armor. Okay.
take you down. Spend skill points to learn new skills. Click the skill icon in the menu bar or press K to open the During combat, if you use a skill in your shortcut bar that has a highlighted frame, you can gain a bonus combo effect. Lose you. Take what you got. Ripple you too. Awesome. I've got a guild to start. Awesome. Spend skill points to corpses that I'm just gonna get right click an item in your bag to Okay, so now we just got to report to someone. And find Toto. Oh, is that Toto over there? Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, let's go with... With lever. Toad's barking like mad. What could. Hey, there's a body in front of the dragon fruit altar. Is he dead? A silver box in my jacket. They have must not have it. Hey, what do you mean? You, who must not? Damn, he's gone. He clearly gave his life to protect whatever's in this box. I wonder what it is. We should take it to Tumon in town. He will know what to do. Okay. The reinforcements showed up. The clan and Bartos came through and took everything I had. I'm not sure if I had enough ingredients to make food to send to Mugavi. Come to think of it, I might have seen one of the ambushes before. I could put my finger on where. I can't put my finger on where though. I know Mugavi said the same thing, but I haven't had a chance to ask him about it. It's a long shot, but you should probably talk to him. He's working over near the icing area. While you're there, I finish up the meal for the guards. At least ca they can't take that what was in the co cook pot. Okay. I certainly can't remember every calibrator's face, even if I recognised someone. I'm sure I wouldn't talk about it though, so many people around. I really want to hear more, I need you to do something for me first. Take these construction materials over to unfinished house we're building. Do a bit of work for me, and I might remember a few things. I'm not trying to cheat you, I just want some assurance. Fair trade for information. What the hell? Press numlock to automatically run forward. The 
This is even better than our nice caravan wagon. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Let's go and talk to him again. Back already? That was quick. Well, fair enough. Come closer and keep quiet. I know it's hard to believe, but you should investigate Ch Clansman Timurus. I last saw he was lying low there at the notary. If you hurry, I'm sure you'll find him. I saw him in the group and at ambush the trade clan. His mask fell off. So, Lee, can you do some time in the fields? We're planting a few crops of mint seeds. If you could scare some seeds and pick the mature mint you find, you could help. You could help with the harvest as well. I'm sure you have more important things to do, but I really could use your help after all. The mint trade keeps this time running. Okay. Activate quest items by right-clicking their icons in the quest tracker. Sure, where she wants me to plant these. Ah. There we go. Be plenty, thank you. Your kindness will help you go far in life. One more thing, if you could, could you check out check the house inside over there? Of course, it's not my house, it belongs to a landowner. How can we? I'm house sitting for him while he's in the town city of Towers. He's always worried about someone robbing his house when he's away. He's a good man, though. Could you make sure the place looks secure? It's fine. It's nice though. Did you give it a good look around? It's a nice house, isn't it? I'm glad every everything looks secure. I tell you, someday I'm going to live in that house like that too. If you're interested in becoming a homeowner, go to Merge House. There's all sort of housing for sale there. Frankly, window shopping is free. I will someday. So let's go and talk to Timon. Say, Sally, what's the hurry? What's you got there? Toad came running in just ahead of you. Did something happen? Though you couldn't place it, the man's tattoo looked incredibly familiar. Either you had seen it before, or it was the most powerful case of deja vu that had ever struck you. The more you thought about it, the more your head screamed in protest. An image exploded into your mind. You recalled a man with obsidian hair giving you a uniform. A symbol embroidered on the shoulder mirrored the design of the sword hanging from his belt. Both the sword and embroidery perfectly matched the tattoo you just found on the dead man. You remembered feeling proud to wear that uniform, proud to truly be a part of something. Your headache flashed again, and the memory faded. You realized you'd never worn a uniform like that. What was going on?
Now let's speak to him again. A general mystery, huh? Well, that's an that let's open it. Mara's out of by the housing area has an old beat old beat up infill. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you borrowed it to open the lock on the box. Okay. Let's go and speak to Timon again. There's a lot of little, little conversations in the beginning. Hmm, that does look like a relic of some sort. Where did you say you found it? There was an inch of violet at the village. He came, gave this to me just before he died. I'd never seen him be here before, but he had a strange, strange clothes and a hawk tattoo. Wait, a hawk tattoo? That's the Shadowhawks. They've been a famous communal organization from MacDevil. Nothing good comes from tangling with them. You recognized the name Shadowhawks as belonging to an infamous group of criminals. The organization was so powerful, many members didn't bother working undercover. They even wore uniforms, flaunting their crimes. But you also recognize the name Shadowhawk for other reasons. Your head pounded as more unfamiliar memories flashed in your vision. The memories centered around the dead man's tattoo. You saw it forged into a dagger handle. Felt yourself sliding the dagger between someone's ribs. Are you going crazy? More skills? So we can't really get anything yet. So let's wait on that one. My father says the shadows made it make people disappear even the guards are afraid of them Yuri is right I don't know what that thing is but if the Shadowhawks are involved we don't want it staying in Hattery you should try give it to, to it to Meladan word is she buys and sells almost anything okay let's go and speak to The clansman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to help them. I didn't have a choice. They threatened to kill me if I did, didn't do it. I was just following orders, really. It was the Shadowhawks. It's, only, it's all their fault. But they didn't have, still haven't made off with the stolen goods. We're almost ca caught on our way when the parchment of all the fields are directions. We end up here. But I hid the stolen goods by Antion Hills. You can still try and retrieve them, but the food knapsacks, I bet the giant ants and baby ants have it's gotten into them, though. Earth novice merchant Margaret at Parchmentson was paying well for provisions, so I was hoping to sell the stuff discreetly. Now I guess I'll be working off the debt for the stolen goods here. Mmm. -mm. So let's go and speak to Madalena. She's over this way. No way, I don't care what you've heard about my business. I'm dealing and dealing with the shadow course is how clever girls like me get killed. From the sign of it, one person has already died for that thing. I don't intend to join them. Actually, I was thinking of the Shadowhawks might buy it from me, seeing as it's valuable to them. That's a dangerous game you're playing, Sailor. You've got a fam your family, and those 
young friends of yours to worry about. Are you sure you're up, up to this? Well, I suppose I can't blame you for trying to make an extra coin. Okay, if you really want to get in touch with the Shadowhawks, you should speak to Tatuus Earthing in Parchment Sediment, but you didn't hear it from me. Okay, so further we go. Oh my god, these look cute. So here's some giant ants. So now we need to find some more. That was easy. So that's done. So now we just gotta go all the way over this way. And dodge one of these. Keep moving, go. And please don't die. Potions are always useful because you get achievements. They have two unread messages. I need to find someone so I can see my messages. Awesome. Let's see what this stuff is. So I've got two expansion scrolls. So I'm going to save them for later. Oh, unless we've got to open these. labor points to gather, mine, craft, and perform other vocational activities. Hmm. Some useful things so far. Okay, let's go and see if we can find these people of interest. Um, <clears throat> up here maybe?
have to be serious. Welcome, I do all kinds of tattoos here. Are you looking for a first tiger or a triple design perhaps? I'm interested in finding a very peculiar tattoo. Have you helped many people with Hulk tattoos lately? Shush, are you trying to get us both killed? I've never done any tattoos for the Sherlock's. I'm, I'm a respectable businessman. I promise I'm not trying to get you in trouble, but I'm, but a dying shadow gave me this iron crescent and I'm betting the rest of them will want it back. Do you know what it is? No, I don't want to. You're better off throwing that down the next hole you find and pretend you never saw it. This town's lost enough good people to the Shadowhawks already. Your people had never shied from risk, if it meant great reward. Centuries ago, an expedition tried to find the birthplace of the world. The source of all magic. Somehow they had succeeded and had altered the fate of the world. They'd inherited fantastic powers. Powers that destroyed the continent of Auroria, but also saved the people living there. Transporting them to new, safer lands. When any of the adventurers died, their new powers passed their memories to all Auroria survivors. Transferred by blood through generations, most of those memories had begun to fade. But it was said that in some gifted people, they could re-emerge. It could be happening to you. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the game here, the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. And if you would like to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe as well. Thank you guys. Bye.